everybody. Welcome to Google and your future by Kikelema Solomon Ayeni. Public disclaimer, Google did not hire me to do this training, neither did I charge for it. I am doing this because I feel everyone should know Google products and how it is useful in this future that we are in. Really, if you want to thrive in this decade, Google is the way to go. Okay, today I will be looking at Google Slides, more like your PowerPoint Slides. So it's Google Slides is what it is called. So if you want to do your PowerPoint, please take your PowerPoint slide making to Google Slides. So you can type Google Slide or Slides in Google. It will bring you here, Google Slide here. Or you go to your email, click on these nine icons below, beside rather, and you scroll down to Slide and you click on it, it will bring you here. If you cannot find it from your email, just Google it. It will bring you here. So we see here that, oh sorry, you have a blank presentation and then you have templates. Let's look at the templates. So you have general presentation, you have your big idea, photo album, wedding, party invite, recipe showcase, consulting proposal, page, status. Whoop. So there are several ones. You can click or you can rather just go to blank and start afresh. Okay, let's try pitch. Where did I see pitch? Okay, let's try pitch. Let's see what's gonna give us. So I click on pitch, and it's going to open just like your PowerPoint. And you can do everything you can do on your PowerPoint. You can do everything here. So if you're on the move, somebody said, "Where is that presentation? Please change the date and send to me." Even you, even if you are far in the sky in the airplane. So long as you can connect to the aeroplanes wireless Wi-Fi, rather, you can just quickly download your Google slide and edit your information and send the PDF. And you look like really, and you say, "I did that when I was in the plane." And I'm like, really? Uh, uh I thought you did that on your laptop. That's the beauty of Google Slides. Remember, you need to have a Gmail account before you can do anything with Google product. All right, so let's, we have opened all the slides. This is a sample that we clicked on. And you can see that we have all the slides. We have all the slides here. You can remove anyone. You can delete them. You can change the color. It's your choice. For this one, and this is a blue one. Let's even click on to let's play this to see what it looks like on a slideshow. So if you, if you look up, you will see present. So let's click on present, and it's showing you what it looks like. Mm, next slide. Oh, next slide. Mm, next slide. Okay, and then you can go back. You don't have to go back. Just click on escape. E S C. I'm not sure. It's means escape but I call it escape ESC on your laptop just right above the corner click on ESC and it brings you back so from the first slide I can change the color let's click on this let's see what do I want to do can I change the color of this slide can I bring in a picture now if you go to file the first one now rather let's start from above where you see where they wrote pitch or the name of whatever template you picked you can click on the pitch and name it so now i'm writing kike sorry kike lomo pitch i have named it okay so as it's a saving it's a saving to your google drive also if you go to file you can share this i'll show you how to share again you can create a new blank template you can import slides your slides that you have worked on in powerpoint if you bring it here, you can edit them here. Really? That's how Google is so cool. Okay, you can make a copy of this slide. So you can make a copy. So it's asking, when I click on make a copy, it's asking me, do I want to make a copy of the entire presentation or selected slides? So I can say, make a copy of the entire presentation and it's asking me, copy of Kikela Mopich. And it's asking me, do I want to share with the same people? Let's assume I shared this main file which I didn't do. Do I want to copy comments? Let's assume that people who I shared with made comments. If not, then if I say okay, it's going to make a copy. Then it's asking me, do I want to save to my Google Drive? 
If I say no, I can click on my drive. My drive will show me the folder. So I can say click on my drive, click on my com save to my computer. So I click on my computer. Then my computer is asking me, oh, the folder is empty. So I click on my Google Drive. My Google Drive is showing me all the, I think it will show me all the folders there. And then I can select if I want to. If I don't want to, I can just like click on Google Drive. And I click on OK. And automatically, my documents have been duplicated. So I have copy of Kikelomor page. And I have Kikelomor page. Same file. So, and then you can download. You can email it directly as an attachment to anybody. You can download it as a PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. You can download it as a PDF. You can download this as a JPEG. You can download this as a PNG. Come on, this is making a lot of sense. And you can rename it. You can undo, redo. You can copy and paste. You can insert images. Let's upload from computer. Let's upload images. Do I have an image to upload? Let me insert from my A search from let's say search the web yes search the web so it's checking google for on my behalf okay so search for images images on talk show me images on talk hmm okay i found one that i like so i clicked on it okay no i click on this people talking insert and oh it, it's brought in the two images for me so i can i can move the images as i like talk the solution to socialization i don't know what that means don't hurt me <laughs> okay socialization all right so let's see okay so i'm adjusting i'm just doing different things all right social socialization i can click on every, the word i can increase the font size social socialization Okay, I can change the fonts. I can change the fonts. Okay. I can make it bold if I desire. I can undo that. I can put italics if I want. I can underline it if I want. I can change the color if I want. Alright, so it's the solution to socialization. I'm just saying, but it does not have to be like this. Okay, so I can make this probably white. Okay. This yes and no, I do not need it again. So I can right click on it and delete. Okay. Alright, so here I can have Kiki Solomon. 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 Ayeni. Alright. Our slide is coming up, right? So I have talk. The solution to socialization <laughs> presented by I should put presented by a presentation by by Kikelomo Solomon Aini and make it bold. Yeah, presentation by Kikelomo Solomon Aini. Okay, so what else can I do? I can insert a table, I can insert a video. Let's go to video. Let's copy. Do I still have the link from okay no i don't have that link from that other youtube let me go to youtube and copy a link out let me go to my videos and put in the link let's go to my my videos okay so i put in my videos and um, let me see any of my video Okay, the virtual transfers. Let me click on this. Hi guys. Okay, I copy the link. I come here. You remember, you can 
upload video also you can go to your google drive and upload the video from when you have it if you have it in your okay so if you have it you can have some videos here if you have it here you can upload it if not you can just copy the link and paste it here all right so i click on the video click on select and i have a video here i want the plate they can click on play really seriously they can click on play all right so let's go to present let me see what it looks like okay so talk the solution to socialization a presentation by kiki alamon solomon Ayane. this is our first page and while doing the presentation when i click on this video it's going to play right from there oh my god hi guys welcome to another edition of the great world transfer series and i am your favorite girl kiki alamon solomon Ayane. i need to have a job okay so that's that then we can go to the can continue with the slide like that so let's go back all right that's that and i can start to say oh this video should not be here this video should be on another page so why not i can decide to bring the video here if i want to or i can come here and say insert and i say insert is there a new slide new slide so i put a new slide here then i can come here and drag this video right click hi here. guys okay so i click on the video i click on cut i go to the empty page i bring it i click on paste ctrl v no oh. okay now i'm not installing anything google will go start so if it is not pasting then i need to install insert the video all over again from here and let's go to insert video same video is still here i go to select and then i put it here i can put it where i like i can make it as big as i like i can delete this ones behind here i don't need this so this ones i click on it delete this one also i click on it at the edge at the corner I right click then delete right, so I shall click on the video right click do is there anything I need to do center on page horizontally what does that do okay center on page horizontally hi guys and I can play it as I desire so now this video because it's connected to the internet if I'm playing this presentation whoever is watching will have to be connected to the, to the internet before they can watch it but if I insert this video if, if I uploaded it which it did not um, because we are now do you know the difference <laughs> with working with um, the internet this video I did not download it. I already have it from my Google Drive. So I can only insert a video that is online. And then when I insert it, so my video is here and I can play it and I can check. So you can do all the things you can do. You can undo, you can redo, you can add new slides, you can take slides away, you can delete, insert image. I can insert an image upload from computer. Okay, so insert image, upload from computer. I do not have a picture on this on this device. You can do all the things you want. A curve connector. Okay, so I just drew a curve. <laughs> I'm deleting. I'm undoing it. Layout. You can change the layout of your slide. So let's change the layout to probably this. See, you change the layout of your slide and you can move everything you can move everything to let's say you can change the all right so I can move it let's move it down here okay I've changed everything all right so presentation by Kelamasula Manai good 
So this I've changed the interface already. Can you see my slide is taking a new shape? And I can do that for all my slides. I can say omission oh, statement, blah blah blah, change the color, put in a logo and everything. And it's your choice. The theme, let's see if I if what changes the theme will look like. If I change the theme to this. Alright, so I clicked on changing theme and it changed all of my theme. Can you see? Wow. Uh, that's what changing theme does. These are ready made themes. You can choose, you can do your own. So these are all the themes that we have. Remember, theme is different from layout. This is layout. Layout can be completely different. So you can have different layouts under a theme. This is a theme, but there are different layouts under that theme. Like I can change background. I say I'm changing background color to yellow. Or I can say I want an image on the background instead of color. I can upload. But for, for the video, it's not asking me to upload. It's asking me to only put in links. So you can go back to the link, the theme that we were before. And then I click on transition and say, okay, dissolve. Let me present. Let me see what this Okay. No, all of my okay let, the, let me okay because this is um we take time so the first one maybe if it all right so let me move this slide let me see if i can make this let me see if i can move this slide um, how do I change the position? Let me close this. How do I move a slide? Sorry. All right. So I move that video downward. I want to see what the transition would give me if I click on slide from right. All right. Let's play from the beginning and let's see what it will give us. Top solution socialization. Okay. That's how it's going to come in. So let me click on present and see what it's going to look like. It's not playing. Okay, let me click on play. Mm. Exit. I'm not seeing the animation. It's not giving me an animation. Oh. Okay, object and it. Okay. All right. So, uh, the animation is not giving me what I think I wanted. All right. That's that for slides. You can duplicate slides. Then I apply transition, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> okay. Let's play all our slides. I want to remove this one with video. Well, I know it's going to take. It's, um, will it take forever? Okay, let's play. Let's present everything. Let's see. Let's click on play. This is the slide playing by itself, and I can move it myself if I want to. That's the entire slide. Where do I insert audio? <laughs> I do not have any audio on my device. But let me check if I have my Google Drive. Okay. Okay, I have audio. Okay, I have an audio. Let me insert this. Creating audio. Okay. Stop playing. Oh, Allah!
Hallelujah. Okay, it is during the presentation. Okay, let me click on present. And let's see what it looks like. So where is it? Okay, so I click on this place and I go. Oh, Ale. Uh, I don't have money. Oh, it has finished. I give me salt now it has finished all of those languages have to change okay so that is putting an audio there put my mouse here i go to exit so i found out how to put an audio okay let's go to insert audio again can i bring an external audio so i realized that from the video i realized that for the video and the audio you cannot bring in your audio and video from your device you can only import them if you already have them online so they can only be from your google drive they can only be from your google drive or from your youtube okay i realize that they have to be yours and in your drive if not you cannot insert them which is not bad just go to your google drive put any video you want to upload any video you want to use there so when you want to do your slide you can bring it in Okay, so for those of you who do presentation, here you go. Maximize what you can with your Google Slides. Okay, there's no comment here. When you want to view it, you click on present. If you want to view on your bigger screen, because there's no other screen connected to this laptop, so it's not asking us to do the present on another screen. All right, now if you want to share, also you can share this file. You can share this link for other people to collaborate with you to probably edit it your team members you can share with them say look at it remember if you put your name if you put their email here if you put their email here they will be able to if you type in their email they will be able to edit your files they'll be able to see it only only they can work on it they will not be able to share the file if you work on like I did, if I click on this additional now and I put her name here, she will receive a notification and then she can view this file. I can determine if I want her to view it as an editor, a commenter, or a viewer. If I put it as an editor, she can edit my file, like she can delete things and add things. If I make her a commenter, she can comment on say, okay, slide one, she can put a comment, slide one, make a blah blah blah, change this, add this. But if I put her as a viewer, she can only see it. She cannot comment and she cannot edit my files. So you determine what you want. They put her name here, as many emails as you can, but they all have to be a Gmail account. If they don't have a Google account, it will not, the file will not open for them. So once they put their emails there, once you put their emails there, rather, only they can view the file. They cannot share with anybody. But when you change the option, let's go cancel. But you change the option and you want to send them a link instead, you go to change to anyone with the link. This you can use for people who do not have a Gmail account and you want them to view this file or probably edit. So when you say get link, so when you click on copy link, anyone with the link can either view this file, comment on this file or edit this file. Anyone with the link can either view the file, comment on the file or edit the file. So it is your choice. You determine what you want them to do. And then you click the link. Copy it. You can click on done. And then you send it to as many persons that you want to send it to. And that's that for Google Slides. If I have more information on Google Slides, I'll do a recording for you. All right. So what's this text thing? Oh, text trapping. Oh, okay. Undo. All right, thank you, everybody. See you in my next record.